Okay. Um, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the ball integral. So in this topic, we consider integration of a function of two variables in a process called iterated integration. Okay. So the following is an example of a ball integral. Okay. This one. Huh? So how do we evaluate a double integral? Another another way of expressing this one is this one. Um, ang inside integral in close or parenthesis. So in evaluating a double integral, we first evaluate the inside integral. This one. Evaluate is a una. So we first evaluate the inside integral indicated by the innermost differential. So in this case, it's dx, no? innermost differential, dx. And at the same time, you treat the other variable or variables as constant. So in this case, it's, it's only y. No? The other variable is y. So it treat nimo ang y as constant for the inside integral. So ang evaluate lang nimo is only x k dx man. Eh. Y treated as constant. Okay. So this is how you will in, uh, evaluate a double integral. Uh, since the in, innermost differential is dx, so x lang ang integrate so 10y squared will be considered as constant so 10y squared integral of x dx we have this one and from lower limit to upper limit and then we evaluate we substitute na to ang upper and lower limits this one okay. mm. So 10 over 2, we have 5y squared, you evaluate, and then simplify. We have 15y squared. This is the result after evaluating the inside integral. So after this, we will substitute 15y squared inside integral, and then we will evaluate the outside integral. Okay, so next is we evaluate the outside integral associated with the differential dy. Now, note that 15y squared, this is the result of the inside integral. So we evaluate this, we integrate 15y squared dy, we have this from 3 to 6 and then simplify 15 over 3 we have 5y cubed from 3 to 6 and then substitute the limits okay the answer is 945 okay so that's the procedure first we evaluate the inside integral based the innermost na differential and consider the other variables as constants. So, the given integral is called a double iterated integral. And the word iterate means to do again. To do again because twice manta nag integrate, diba? After integrating first the inside integral, we integrate again the outside integral. So, na-iterate. Ah. Okay. I-repeat. I-repeat ang process. So, manang, that's the meaning of iterated integral. Now, let us um, solve another sample problem. Or, uh, we have this. Evaluate the double integral of xy squared dy dx with inner limits x squared to x and the outer limits 0 to 1. 
So use the procedure as explained a while ago. Now evaluate um, inside the integral. Yeah? So we first evaluate the inside integral with respect to y being the innermost differential and we treat x as constant. So focus at ane, no? So y squared du ay ta. Itreat na to ang x as constant. So we have this x y squared dy it's y cube over three from x squared to x, no? and then we substitute the limits and then simplify. Okay, x cube times x x raised to four x squared and then cube that's x raised to six times x that's x raised to seven so this is the result of the inside integral so next is we're going to substitute this one sa original na integral eh. so we have this one uh you put one third before you place one third before the integral and integrate x raised to 4 minus x raised to 7 with respect to x. So x raised to 5 over 5 minus x raised to 8 over 8 from 0 to 1. And then substitute the limits. Okay. The result is 1 over 40. Thus... The value of this is 1 over 40. So after those exercises, um, you cannot get an idea on how to evaluate a double in pink algae. Now, this time, we are going to use the double integral to find the area between curves. Okay. Okay. Oh. Let's have an example problem. Use a double integral to compute the area of the region bounded by the curves y equal to x squared and y equal to x plus 2. Okay. So, first thing is the graph name on curves. Yeah. So, this one is a parabola opening upward with vertex at the origin. Okay. Uh, this is the graph. And then the second one is a line. It's a line with y-intercept equal to 2. Y-intercept means na that's the point where the line intersects or it crosses the y-axis. And with a positive slope of 1. Okay. Okay, this is based on standard form na y equal to mx plus b. So our slope is 1. Or fastest way of plotting the line is using intercepts. Like when x is 0, y is 2. Here, uh, y. Is. And when y is 0, x equals negative 2. Here, so you connect ni mo, and you have this line. Uh, that's the fastest way of Plotting a line using intercepts. Okay, let's plot this one. Uh, and that's y equal to x plus 2. So this is the bounded region. Yeah. So, uh, first, let's get the point of intersection. So, because that will serve as our limits. Yeah. So, basic equation, mas easier mag-compare sa so y instead of x. Kaya x squared and x. Man. So, y equal to y lang ta. So, equate ni Mondo, ha. We have this. And then, transpose uh, terms are right side, transpose sa left. And then, factor out. And finally, you have x equal to 2 and x equal to negative 1. And substitute lang ni mo. When x is 2, 
y is 4. And when x is negative 1, y is positive 1. Okay, so, uh, based the previous na one solution on how to get the area of a bounded region, of course, we analyze rectangular strips. And based the uh, bounded region, we can only analyze a vertical strip, no? To avoid a split, because if you analyze a horizontal strip, mag split man ta, no? Mag split ta. So, we will subdivide the area or the region into, into two, okay? So, para i-avoid ang split, then let's analyze a vertical strip. Okay. So this is the previous one, uh, previous way of getting the area using rectangular strips. No? Okay, so to serve as basis, okay. na to. So we have the rectangular strip and the label na to. X up, Y up, and then this one, X down, Y down. Thickness DX and ang height sa strip da yun, Y up minus Y down. So to get the area, I consider the area of the rectangular strip. So DA equals height sa strip times thickness. Y up minus Y down, DX. And then we integrate. Diba? So this is the one, can you previous or the other solution using rectangular strip. But this time, since we will use the double integral, what we'll do is, uh, what we will do is, instead of considering a rectangular strip, it shrink not on height. Okay. So, the linear oh, okay. we will no longer use this style. Okay. So, string na to. Yun. Yan, label na to. Of course, dx. This one, it's no longer y up minus y down, but it's dy. So, our uh, dA will be area as a square or sa, for this one, for this element. dy dx. Mm. Now, the outer, the outside integral must be dx, okay? So originally, vertical strip man ta. So y up minus y down dx. So dapat ang limit na to, outer limit na to sa x, para ma-follow ang original na style ba, na rectangular strip. Okay. So, okay. we have this one. Area is double integral of dy dx. Now, sa limits, ang sa x, of course, negative 1 to 2. Same lang man sa previous na style. Nga mag-rectangular strip ka, y up minus y down, times dx, ang limit sa x, negative 1 to 2. So double integral, same lang, negative 1 to 2. Pero sa dy, ang limit sa sa y is... Same sa rectangular strip. Again, we have the rectangular strip, di ba? So, ang limit sa dy, it, it will not be 1 to 4. Kundi, kine. Lower limit, this one, bali y down siya, and then the upper limit is y up. Uh, that's the difference sa old style, a previous style, o ang double integral. So instead na y up minus y down, ga dy ta, pero ang limits niya, y down to y up. Okay? So ang y down na to is blue man, x squared ne. And the upper limit is red, y niya is x plus 2. We have this one. Ah. Okay. So the limits of y will be from x squared, this one, blue, to red x plus 2. And then dx, of course, it's negative 1 to 2. So with this, uh, you can now follow the procedure as explained sa uh, uh, start sa topic. Vale? So we evaluate the inside integral first. And then after that, the outside integral. So let's evaluate the inside integral. 
This one, huh? Okay, so integral of dy, it's simply y, huh? Y uh, with lower limit x squared, upper limit x plus 2. So we have this upper minus lower limit. So after this, we substitute this one sa original expression. So let's evaluate the outside integral, this one. Take note na if you will use the previous style na y up minus y down dx, same raman eh. This is y up minus y down dx eh. Uh, limit sa x eh. Same lang ba? Okay. So, we integrate and then evaluate sa upper and lower limits. The result is 4.5. Uh, now, you may ask, can we interchange dx and dy? Okay, for this one, if you want a single double integral, dili pwede. Okay. Kung mag dx dy ka, ang in, innermost or ang innermost differential ni mo dx, dapat mag-consider ka daw horizontal strip. Uh, with lower limit, red to upper limit blue, okay, re, right to, uh, left to right man. X left, X right. But then, ang condition sa ibabaw is different sa lower part. No? So, dili pwede na isa lang ka double integral. In other words, may split ni mo. Kaya lahilahay mo na condition. Okay? So, it means na um, not all problems pwede sa isolve na ma-interchange ma ang dx, dy using one one term lang. Ha? Oh. It's possible na i-split ni mo. Okay. Another problem. Use a double integral to compute the area of the region bounded by the curves y equal to x squared and x squared equal uh, x equal to y squared. So, kung i-plot na to, uh, this parabola, it opens upward. And then this one, x equal to y squared, it opens to the right. So, this is the bounded region. Now, in this case, you can analyze both uh, rectangular strips, horizontal and vertical. Same condition. Pag mag-horizontal ka, same condition ang left or right. And pag mag-vertical strip ka, consistent ang condition ni mo. Lower or upper values. So in this case, using double integral, you can interchange dy and dx. Uh, Itry na to. Okay? Let's try both one cases. First, we get the points of intersection. So equate either y equal to y or x equal to x. But then for this one, dilemma coincide. So you can choose whether uh, ang I compare ni mo is y squared equal to y squared or x squared equal to x squared. It depends on you, okay? But for this one, uh, I'm comparing y squared and y squared. So, square na ko ang y, this becomes x raised to 4. Okay? x raised to 4 equal to x, y squared man okay? And then transpose x, and then factor out. So, for this one, that's x equal to 0, and x equal to 1. And it's obvious na one point of intersection is the origin because both parabolas have their vertices uh, origin. Now, the other point of intersection is at x equal to 1. So when you substitute x equal to 1, y is also equal to 1. Okay, so let us solve 
the area. Okay, first, okay, we have this one, no? dx and dy. So, ang first na, to, na solution is this one, dy dx, okay? Double integral dy dx. Okay. So, ang limit sa y is consider ka o vertical. Ana. So, ang limit sa y is 1. From y down to y up. So, your y down is x squared. Your y up is square root of x. And for dx, ang outer limit niya 0 to 1. <clears throat> okay, so this is your double integral y. Uh, lower limit is down, y down, and the upper limit is y up. So we integrate. Okay. Integral of dy is y, lower and upper limits, and then substitute. <coughs> and then you use power rule. And then evaluate. The area is one third. <coughs> now, alternate solution, we interchange dx and dy. So in this case, dx na punta. So consider ito a horizontal strip. dx. Huh? So ang limit sa x na to from x left to x right. Tapos ang y and sa datong outside integral from 0 to 1. <coughs> so dx, uh, x left, y squared, x right, square root of y. And if you can observe this one and the other one, they are similar. Only na nag-swap ang variables. Here you have x squared 2 square root of x. For this one, y squared 2 square root of y. But nag interchange ang differential dx dy for this one is dy dx. Same result, yeah. We integrate and then same lang, use power rule. And the area is one third. So Always remember, ah, pag mag double integral ka, and for the limits, go back to rectangular strip para na kay guide. Okay. Another one is to use double integral to find volume. Okay. Let's have this one. Compute the volume of the solid bounded by the given surfaces 2x plus 3y plus z equal to 6 and the three coordinate planes. So 3D. To load up the planes, you have the xy plane, the yz plane, and then the xz plane. So how do we plot this plane? 2x plus 3y plus z equal to 6. Seems a line. Ang sa line, fastest way of plotting a line is using intercepts. Okay? So we equate x equal to 0, we solve for y. We equate y equal to 0, we solve for x. So 3D, same lang. Like, kung magplot ka din sa x, magplot ka point din eh, you get the x intercept, you equate y and z equal to zero. So if y is zero and z is also zero, um, what is left is 2x equal to six. Therefore, x equals three. Okay. We have this point. So I'm coordinated in the point three, zero, zero. Okay. So y, para makuha niyo ang y intercept, you equate x and z equal to 0. So x equal to 0, z equal to 0. What remains are two terms, 2y and 6. So I mean 3y, sorry. 3y and 6. So 
3y equal to 6. So it means na y equals 2. Okay. We have this point. Okay. So 0 ang x, 0 ang z, 2 ang y. And the last point is there is a z axis. To get the z intercept, you equate x and y to 0. So 0 ang x, 0 ang y. Ang million, you have z equal to 6. So we have this one. 0 ang x, 0 ang y, z equal to 6. I connect na niyong 3 ka dots or 1. Meaning the plane passes through these 3 points. So we have this plane. I cut na to sa x, y plane. I cut sa y, z plane. And I cut sa x, z plane. Oh, because the solid is bounded by the 3 coordinate planes. This is the result. Okay. So we have right triangles. This is a right angle. This one also. And the other one. For on a 90 degrees. Huh? Oh. When we solve for the volume, analyze tag strip. Our strip here is rectangular parallelepiped. Or more than cube, no? Pero different dimension okay we have this so let's label why is okay, why man ang, ang axis so y distance and then this one is dz z axis and then this one dx so, so volume na to is this one volume and then uh, Solid. Okay. So V is equal to volume so rectangular parallel pipe length times width times height. So it's Y times DX times DZ or Y times DZ times DX. And since we only have two differentials, DZ and DX, then double integral. Okay. Now, our Y will be expressed in terms of z and x. So, kwao na to sa equation sa plane. So, we solve for y. That is simply 6 minus 2x transpose. Transpose z also. And then after that, we divide na to 3. And we have the expression of y. We have this one. And then dz and then dx. So, to get the limits of z and dz, dz, let's construct a rectangular strip para makuha na to ang limits sa uh, z. Okay, let's consider the, the xz plane. No? So, ang dx, dz is here. dx, dz. So, pag kuha sa limits sa dz, this one, dz, Draw kag strip. Okay. okay. Or line lang sa. Same lang man. So, ang limit sa z na to will be from this point, which is 0. 0 man ang z na yan. Up to this point. Okay. So, what's the value of z here? So, first is we get the equation of this. What's the equation of this line? It's simple. No? Just equate y equal to 0. Kay xz plane man ta. So kung xz plane, y is equal to 0. So when y is 0, we have this equation. Okay? Okay lang ha? 2x plus z equal to 6. Wala nang y. Kay xz plane man. So ang limit sa to sa z will be from 0 to this one, z. So, ang z na to is 6 minus 2x. And the outer, the outside integral dx, of course, and limits niya from 0 to this one, 3. Yeah? x na to 3. Okay. So, we have this y, ang dz from 0 to, you solve for z, that's 6 minus 2x. Okay. 
and outer limits zero to three. Okay. So procedure evaluate the inside integral. So since this is we treat x as constant. Okay, so pag integrate ah, uh, we write one third outside or before the, the integral. Okay. So integral of six, you have six z. Integral of two x, remember x is considered as constant. So two x, integral of dz, z lang. And then the last term, z dz, is z squared over two. And then we substitute the limits, upper and lower. We have this. And then we simplify. We simplify this one. Okay. Let's simplify this one. Six times six, 36, six times negative two X. Okay, this is the result. Yeah. 36, six, two X, negative 12 X, negative two X, same six, negative 12 X. Two X times two, two X, four X squared. And then you expand and then divided by two times negative. This is the result. Next step is simplify. I combine like terms. And this is the result. And now we can integrate this one. Power rule, simple power rule. And then substitute. The volume is equal to six. Okay, let's have a checking using solid maturation uh, solution. This is actually a pyramid now. And the volume of a pyramid is this one. One third A times H. A refers to area of the base. This one. This is our base. Okay. okay. And it's a right triangle, 90 degrees many. And we have six, one leg is six, this one. The other leg is three. So what's the area of a right triangle? Well, it's simply one half base times height. So A is one half of six times three, nine. So nine is a eight's altitude. And the altitude is from the base perpendicular na, going to the third you know, vertex uh, or this vertex. Okay, this will be our h and it's equal to two. Yeah. Two. And then we we'll substitute one third nine times two. The answer is six. Similar lang. So this one is solution sa using solid dimensionation. And this one using integration. Okay, so I hope that you have learned something on how to evaluate a double integral, how to use double integral in finding area and volume. Okay. So thank you for watching.